I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so. Hey guys, so I'm inside my house now because it was actually hell outside and I pretty much did my workout in like 30 minutes. So, got some good vitamin D, worked out, ready to start the day, about to make some breakfast, which is going to be a smoothie because. Okay, so for this smoothie, I'm going to use about two cups of these frozen berries, one frozen banana, and about a cup of oat milk. I've noticed oat milk actually agrees with my stomach versus almond milk, so oat milk is where it's at. Also, I think this is the same one Abby Aslan uses, and it's actually like 10 out of 10, so I'm going to put all this together, and then I will show you the finished product. So now I'm going to catch up on all my YouTube subscriptions that I missed from yesterday. And as you can see, I watched Toes already, so there's a new Rumi vlog and then a live update from Brooke, which I am <laughs> excited to see since she has moved back to Boston. So I'm going to watch these and then get ready and I will update y'all after I get ready. So I've been planning my month of May. And you see that I was supposed to be in New York the 19th to 23rd. Coronavirus obviously got that cancelled. So ignore that little piece. So all the days I have for work. I have a little legend here that says like it's color coded based on work, health, education, personal lifestyle, and then Toastmasters. So today is this. And so there's nothing major going on for that day, but my to-do list, morning yoga, I've already done that, star ID, compact license, work on my UPC agenda, from a video, from this video, then Zoom call. So that's what I'm working on right now, and I will update y'all as I cross everything off my to-do list. So basically the first thing was the UPC agenda for May, which if y'all don't know in the emergency department I work at, we have something called the Year Practice Council, in which I am the de facto chairperson because the chairperson before me left and said, now I get that responsibility, which involves making the agenda for the meetings each week. And basically, if anyone wants anything done, I have to get it situated in the agenda. And so. There's a bunch of people on this list that's in the UPC that are no longer here, so I have to rework that. And yeah, so I've been working on that. And apparently, if y'all didn't know, in the state of Alabama, in order to be able to fly in an airplane at all, ever, we have to have something called the star ID. But because of the coronavirus, instead of it being in 2020 when you have to have it, they changed it to 2021. But as you can see, the US Department of Homeland Security at the direction of the president is extending the deadline for real ID, also called star ID in Alabama, to October 1st, 2021, in response to COVID 19. So basically, 
once provision of the real ID star ID goes into effect, individuals who do not have an alien's expired U.S. passport will need an Alabama star ID to board commercial aircraft for domestic flights or to enter certain regulated federal facilities. And this is through the TSA website also. You have to have this ID, so basically I am working on setting up an appointment, which every county that does the licenses in this state is closed. So, I will get to be able to make an appointment, I guess, to figure all this out. And then, yeah, I'll update y'all if I'm able to make the appointment. <laughs> And I successfully applied for a multi-state license in the state of Alabama, so one year gets done, compact license, UPC agent is done, currently working on that one. I'm going to go get ready and I'll film this video. And then I always, I've had a goal since January 1st to do 100 steps a day, so I'll just work on each day. Um, like when I do those steps, and like if I miss a day, then I'll say it. This way I can keep track of holding myself accountable. So, gotta get go ready, and then film, and then Zoom calls, and more productiveness. So, I got everything I want to do the list done. I even read, worked out, made smoothies, and just got an email. Let's see what it is. Evaluation form for a Zoom, Zoom calls later. So, let me just say that. Yeah. I'm just glad I got everything. I went to do this. Knocked off, and it's still relatively early. So, and if y'all didn't know, it is. Cinco de, Cinco de Mayo and it just happens to fall on Taco Tuesday this year so and in quarantine can't go out but you can get takeout and delivery so getting tacos and margaritas for later delivered so and who is snapchatting me let's see Shadowman. So, okay. I don't have anything else productive to do. I'm probably gonna read my book some more. Well, I'll say. I've been reading this book, and it's basically the point of view of an ER nurse. But how they make yourself and your workplace better. I don't know. Apparently, everyone who's like anybody has read this book in my work, and I was like, I'm the last one to read it. It's it's decent. Pretty much the stuff in the book I've already learned about from listening to people's podcasts. But it's a decent book. Apparently, this is the first book in a series. This one's like about a cookie. The next one I think is like a piece of cake and then like pie and I don't know. It's about to say it's interesting so I'm probably finished reading this. I mean it's not a very thick book either so yeah. I'll probably end up doing that before the Zoom calls. Well I'm going to place the order for delivery for the tacos and mugs before my Zoom calls, so it'll be delivered after my Zoom calls when it's time for dinner. So yeah, it's pretty much everything now is like on your phone, on your computer, and like if you're not on social media, it's like well, you are out of loop. You know this room? No. <laughs> so I'm gonna go read. And educate myself.
So you just saw my Zoom Toastmasters meeting. Typically Toastmasters is an in-person leadership club, but because of quarantine and pandemic, it's a Zoom call. So you saw that. That was fun. And I, we just got tacos and margaritas delivered, so that has my name calling it right now. Just had tacos and margaritas from Taco Mama, and I am super duper hyper and like just literally Snapchatting everybody right now because I am hyper <laughs> at 7 o'clock at night. <laughs> so and that concludes today on this productive quarantine day in my life. <laughs> I got a lot of stuff done, had a lot of fun, which honestly, on my days off, I'm pretty much like that anyway, even without quarantine, but a lot of stuff had to be tweaked during quarantine, like Toastmasters and meetings and stuff I had to get done. Those are obviously not in person online, but as you can see, I am at home in my parents' house because I live with my parents still because trying to figure out where I want to live and move is a struggle. <sighs> it's weird because like when I was in middle and high school, I always told myself I was going to live in Birmingham and well, live, told myself I was going to live and work in Birmingham back when I was like 15, 16 because I thought that was like the coolest city. Now I'm like, oh, maybe I want to live in Nashville. Oh, maybe I want to live in Atlanta. Oh, I want to live in New York. Oh, I want to live in California. So I was like, oh, I don't know. And like, I don't want to just like move out, move out. I mean, I, I, mean, I want to move out, but like, I don't know. I want to move out and like have like, you know, in a place I actually want to live in, not just move out that makes sense so i guess the, there was a place i was gonna move out to here in the city i'm living in right now but then i was like as much as I'm pay i'd be paying for it i could live somewhere just as nice if not nicer somewhere else i was like mm. oh and in a better city because no offense, this is a very small town and a whole lot here, so um, I feel like this city, my hometown only has so much to offer me and I don't, it's, I think I've exhausted everything this place has for me, so it's time for me to and away can go somewhere else. Of course, because of quarantine, the coronavirus can't really do that, but, yep. Welcome to nighttime deep chats with Miranda. <laughs> we really get to know her. <laughs> but, I mean, besides that, pretty much I am <laughs> I a very hyper, happy girl person. Like, I am the most random person, as you can probably have seen from today. And if you like that, if you think that's cool, you can vibe and, you know, connect that. Hit that subscribe button. Comment down below what you do during quarantine. Hopefully some of these things I did during quarantine helps you be protective. Or just rub friends. Pop, pop a comment down below and I will talk to you all in my next video and y'all have a good night. Bye!